What is up guys? My name is Mark Cinemarill. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, today we're going to do something I've been wanting to do for a super long time. This has been bothering me, so I get the question a lot. How do I get into racing? How much does it cost? What's the best way to go about it? So today, we're going to be doing a budget build. And I know what the title says. It says you can get into competitive RC racing for 150 bucks. I got a couple of disclosures. So when I say 150 bucks, basically after you build this car up, if you don't like it, I'm pretty sure you can sell it and only be out 150 bucks. So if you wanted to try it, I'm confident that you could go with these things and only only cost you $150. So with that said, I have done this. This is going to require a lot of buying and selling. So you're going to have to do some buying and selling. I've done a lot of buying and selling. Capacity. I don't really sell much online anymore. I pretty much just give stuff away. But this is my way. Like if, if I were starting from scratch. I would do it this way and this is how I would build a car and this is how I'd recommend someone build a car it takes a little bit of time but this is a really cheap way to do it and again it's it's low risk you're only risking about 150 bucks if you decide you don't like it I'm confident you can sell all this stuff and uh, or sell the car what I show what I'm about to show you and, and get almost all your money back another disclosure is this doesn't this doesn't include tools and like maintenance stuff so like tires oils spares, things like that. This, this, it, None of the costs include that. You're probably gonna need some of that stuff. However, whenever you buy your roller, because one of the, one of the things is buying a used uh, race roller, whenever you buy a roller, you can pretty much negotiate some of those things in and get some tires and possibly some spares, things like that. So, but this doesn't include the tools and things. So basically to summarize everything up really quick, you're gonna have to buy everything used. And essentially what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna buy a race roller slash slider. If you don't know what the difference between a roller and slider is, a roller comes with wheels and tires, a slider doesn't roll, it just slides. You're gonna buy, what I like to do, I like to buy one generation old. So if you have the newest car coming out, a lot of times the, the guys, the racers, will dump their old versions really cheap. Those are still very competitive. I will show you the one that I'm dealing with here shortly, but you're gonna buy a lot of stuff used. Some of the stuff you won't buy used, and I'll show you, these are some of the things that I would trust to actually race with in an actual race uh, versus something that I, uh, you know, is just cheap and I'm, I wouldn't trust. So this is the way I would do it. And I'm confident with the, the things that I find, you guys can find also. All right, let's dive right into it. We are in full Leonard mode right now with the, the camera in front of us. So let's see, the first thing I will show you is, you're gonna need a car, but we'll show you that in a second. Um, the power system, the brushless, we're doing an e-buggy, obviously we're not doing nitro, you can't do nitro that cheap. We're gonna do an e, an electric car. So the power system I chose for this budget build is this guy right here. This is the Spectrum 1900 motor and ESC combo. This is not censored, so it is a little bit cheaper. However, yeah, I don't think you need censored for a skill at all. And this is a 1900 KV, this is a, a nice, well-rounded brush system. I've seen actual guys race this brush system in, in trucks and buggies, so I'm confident this is pretty good. And this is cheap. This is super cheap. This is only 179 bucks. I'll put a link in the description below. If you get like a full-blown race ESC setup, I mean, they can go 300, 350 bucks. You can probably find some of the used stuff better, but for a new system for $179, you can't beat it. Super excited about this. We're gonna go and open this up because I wanna see what's in here because I want to know. I mean, it says that it comes with IC5, IC5 connectors, but I just wanna make sure we can see what's in this box here. Ooh, very nice and pretty. Oh, very nice. You don't even have to solder this thing because it just has the bullets. And then, yep, IC5. Very, very nice. So, yep, this is the brush system we're gonna use. Uh, next thing you'll need is you'll need a servo. So, online, and where I recommend you get your stuff is like a Facebook marketplace. You can pretty much find decent servos. Servos that have over 300 ounces of torque for about 50 bucks. So, the one that we're gonna use this time is the 150T. I saw two 150Ts go on Facebook, Facebook marketplace today. 155Ts go for $50 each. This is a 150T, you could probably get it cheaper, but we're gonna round this price for a good used servo for $50. So the thing is, is they might have a little bit of slop in, in the actual gears, but they're still good servos and they'll get you going. These are very, very dependable. So 
The other thing you'll need is you'll need a battery. So I did a, a video on this battery back in the day. This is the HRB. This is an Amazon battery and I've been using this battery or my son has been using this battery in his car for a while now and they're they're pretty solid. I actually use it in my e-truggy also a couple times uh, just for practice packs whenever I need more batteries and they're super solid. So these are on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link in the description below for these. Oh my God, the packaging is legit. Here we go. There it is. HRB 6000 milliamp, 14.8 volt, 50C. This battery is not bad. Again, I'll put a link in the description. This is an Amazon battery. Um, this is another one of the costs that I didn't factor in, but you'll probably need a connector to make sure your battery connects to your AC. This is the IC5 battery connector. So I'm going to put this on here. That way it'll connect to my AC. The next thing you'll need is you'll need a remote, a transmitter and a remote. So this is where it gets a little a little gray because a lot of people already have a transmitter and remote and uh, they just need a transmitter and remote transmitter and receiver transmitter and remote they're the same thing a lot of people already have a, a remote and they just need another receiver that's what i'm doing in this case which the receiver i'm using is only about 79 bucks um this one had problems at silver state but i think i know what the problems are so we're going to reuse this one but if you don't have anything i'm going to put a link you basically Hold on, let me double check. All right, so basically you have two options with a remote. You can get the really, really, so most, the two that we're gonna mention are San Juan Futaba. Those are the big ones. And again, there's probably cheaper like Fly Sky, some, some old China brands. There's probably cheaper ways, but these are the ones that I would actually trust in a race. Uh, hold on, my camera's off, guys. Why don't you tell my camera, there, there we go. Anyways, Futaba and San Juan are the ones that I recommend. Uh, they have cheap, cheap options. They're like a hundred bucks. Uh, I think it's the MT, MT6 or something like that, MX6 something, Sanwa. And then they have a, I'm not even getting myself lying. Anyways, they have really cheap options, like a hundred, $150 options, but they also have a 200, 200, $250 option remote. I think it's the uh, 4 PM, I think. I'll put links in the description for those options. You can buy them for 250 brand new, or you can pretty much find them used on Facebook Marketplace for about $150. So for a remote and receiver, $150, that's what I budgeted for this. And you, I'm confident that you can get that mid-grade remote and receiver for about $150 on Facebook Marketplace. Now you're probably asking what this little guy is. This is the part that makes getting into racing that much more expensive. This is what they call a transponder. These need to be in your receiver box. They need to be, not in your receiver box, but in your car to um, count the lap. So basically there's a little sensor in here and every time you go past the loop at a, at a race, it counts your lap. So without this, you won't count laps. My laps has like a straight up monopoly on this. You cannot find these cheap. There's no finding them cheap. Brand new, they're 120 bucks. Sometimes you can find them for $80. You just have to keep your eye out. So the big thing you wanna know about these, there's these transponders, there's two types. There's a three wire and a two wire. The three wire is cheaper. And the two wire is more expensive, but I have, I believe that the two wire is more dependable. I will not use a three wire. The one time I had a three wire transponder, it missed lap. So I will never ever get a three wire transponder ever again. Uh, so I got two wire. I was able to pick this one up for $80. So you can find them again on Facebook marketplace. Uh, go just follow some of your local hobby shop groups. When people get out of racing, they sell these things and if you can find them for 90, that's still a good deal. 100 is still a good deal because again, brand new is about 120. Um, but they don't, it's not like normal use stuff where you get 50% off on these. They're just, they're just freaking, they're, they're valuable. They're, they're worth a lot. <laughs> so yes, transponder, you'll need that. All right, so the last thing is in the garage and I'll show you guys what car we're gonna be using for this build. Oh man, here it is guys. This is the roller that we're gonna use. So this is the Techno ET48.3. So when the new Techno came out, that's the new Techno ET48 2.0, everyone was dumping these because these are the older ones. Now this one was a little bit higher, like priced a little bit higher uh, because they were they, they were kind of rare near the end of their term because they stopped making them. But this is still a very, very cable truck. But this is just a, a, a slider because it's got no tires, but there you go. And we're gonna put all of that stuff in here. But I, I have seen these go as sliders for $300. So I think that's the budget for a used, a good used, a good used race roller. 
about 300 bucks. This one has a servo in it. I'm going to take the servo out and put the budget servo in. Um, if you can, the things that you want to look for is one, if it comes with spares, that's obviously a good deal. If it comes with spares, also that servo horn, if you can get a metal servo horn with it, that's great. The wheel nuts, if it comes with the cool wheel nuts, like all the little details on kits, whenever you go buy them online used, uh, look for those things because those things are worth money. But yes, this is the roller that we're using, the ET48.3. Again, you can find these for about $300 online. I think you can find other good race rollers for about $300 used. So that's about the going rate. And it's you can probably get it cheaper. I've seen them go for as low as $250, but $300 is about the average, the average price for a, a race roller that's about one generation back. So this is what we're going to be using. All right, guys. So next step is we got to put all that stuff in here. I'm just going to make an adapter for that battery since... I don't have any other cars that use IC5 as the on the ESC. That way I can, if I need a backup battery, I have one. So, oh, we got a lot of work to do. So let's do it. I'm not going to make y'all watch. I'm just going to do it. Oh man, she's all done. All right. So it's kind of a wiring nightmare right now, but I didn't want to do a lot of soldering because someone who's doing a budget build getting into the hobby probably won't do a lot of custom soldering. So I'm using the, the standard connectors that come on the ESC and motor. And then I didn't do anything crazy besides make an adapter for that battery, which you can just buy anyways. But it runs, it runs good. I'm gonna show you guys, it's, it's weird because it might actually be too fast. And I'll see what, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right guys, so it is abnormally fast. So I put a 19, not a 19, I'm sorry, 16 tooth pinion on it, mainly because, oh, no car coming. Mainly because that's what I run with my 2000 KV, so with a 19, 1900 kV, I thought that 16 would be perfect. So usually when you go lower kV, you have more torque. Um, so you can actually run a bigger pinion. I'm running the exact same on my 2000, but wa watch this. It actually makes a weird screaming noise whenever I get up high. I don't even know what that is. I don't know if that's the motor or the rotor, I don't know, but it's running fine. I mean, it runs good, so we're we're, we're just gonna take it to the track and run it and just see what happens. I don't think I don't think anything's wrong with it. I think that uh, that loud noise is just I don't know. It's weird, guys. This uh, this no <laughs> Melissa's out here watching this truck go up and down, and then uh, we figured out what the noise was. It's it's bald eagles. Well, listen, that's a bald eagle. Noise. <laughs> it's like Cletus McFarland in here. That sounds just like a bald eagle. That is too funny. Well, there she is, guys, the budget build. So if my, my calculations are correct, which sounds really, really lame, the total cost for this car is 830 bucks roundabout. And again, I averaged everything out, what I thought you could get on, on, like on the used market. So if you were to sell this, let's say you were to build this for 830 bucks, I believe if you were to sell it, you could easily sell it without the transponder for 600 bucks, easily. Just as a roller, as a complete, ready to run with a remote, no transponder, I think it could easily fetch 600 bucks. And then if you, you sell the transponder, that's an extra 80. So $680 total if you were to sell this after you built it for 830, which gets to that number of $150 you would be out if you decided you wanted to try racing and didn't like it. Or if you want to try racing, this be your first car, decide you want to upgrade, it only costs you $150 to do it. So. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. There are going to be running videos of this car really, really soon, possibly next next vlog. I'm actually heading to the track right now, so we will see how this thing performs on the track. Later, guys.